Hello everybody, welcome to another haul video. I thought we'd try something different this time and uh, thought a little haul video by the water might be a nice change of venue, especially since it's not a million degrees outside anymore and we can actually enjoy some time outside. But I've got to make this quick because it looks like I'm losing sunlight fast. But anyways, please enjoy the view and enjoy the haul video. Let's get it started with what I found at Dollar Tree. And I found another one of these Buick Grand Nationals. How cool are these? I still think this is the best model that I've seen from Maisto in a long time. And this looks pretty good. What do you think, huh? The Grand National. Tinted out windows, lots of front detail, plenty of rear detail, looking pretty good. Can't beat that for one dollar from Maisto, the Buick Grand National. Awesome. And I also found, went on my way to Walmart, and I was fortunate enough to find one of the exclusive Florida, sun, the Sunshine State, Monster Jam trucks. What kind of truck it is? I have no idea. But it is exclusive to Florida, from what I gather. We turn the turn it around. See, we've got trucks from, looks like Georgia, Florida, Texas, and California. So let me know if you see these trucks, if you're in Georgia, Texas, or California. And if you see Florida trucks, let me know. It'll be very interesting to see what the distribution of these are, and if these are only available in the states with which they are representing. Anyways, the Florida Monster Jam truck. Pretty cool. You collect Monster Jam trucks? This is an exclusive, pretty cool. Definitely a must have. Let me know what you think in the comments. And I also got really lucky, stumbled upon someone else's hiding spot. I'm getting really good at finding people's hiding spots. And look what I found. The fifth one this year, the Barbie Monster Vet. How long this had been hiding in that hiding spot, I do not know, but I was glad to find it. Pretty cool. Do you ever have too many Barbie Monster Vets? I say no. What do you say? Pretty cool. I know this was kind of a chase car, so at least somebody went to the trouble of hiding it, and I'm glad I went to the trouble of finding it. So, awesome. The Barbie Monster Vet. Looking good. Did you guys find these, or did they elude you, or did the scalpers get them all in your areas before you had a chance? Let me know in the comments. Pretty cool, though. And I also found... <coughs> the 69 Plymouth Ford Runner, Ford, uh, pardon me, the 1969 Plymouth Road Runner 440 six pack. Now, one of my fellow YouTubers, Mountain Diecast, actually took this out of the package and had it rolling around on the turntable. And this thing looks great out of its cage. What do you think? Pretty cool, huh? If you like American muscle, this is right up your alley. And I like American muscle, and it is right up my alley. Pretty cool. Look at that detail. M2 has been killing it this year. Unbelievable. Nice. Looking good. If you find it, pick it up. Check out that 60s card art. <laughs> I love 60s card art, and uh, this looks pretty awesome. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Oh, and by the way, I did want to say, it looks like 90... 8% of you that watch these videos are not subscribed, so I would urge you to please give the channel a chance and please like and subscribe and help a fellow collector thrive. Anyways, enough said on that, back to the cars. I also found a car from the Flying Custom series that had been eluding me at Target, and it is, in fact, the 64 Chevy Nova Wagon. And I don't believe that I had found this car yet, but I was glad to locate it. Hot Ones wheels or faux Hot Ones wheels, we do not know yet. I will not know until we get one of these on the track and see how these wheels actually go, if they, or do, if they are real Hot Ones or just faux Hot Ones, as they say. Flying Customs, 66, or 64. Chevy Nova Wagon. Looks good. What do you think? Did you guys find this or are the scalpers beating you to this one too? Let me know in the comments. Nice. And I found this at Walmart, the Rannick Road Scraper. And I 
I don't know about you guys, but I've been collecting all of the Rannick, all of the Matchbox Rannick cars that have the Rannick Deco. And it started in 2010. It has been going strong ever since. And I had a feeling if I didn't pick this one up, it would become impossible to find later. So here we go. This will be kind of like the uh, mythical scraper from the uh, National Park series from Matchbox, which is incredibly hard to find and incredibly expensive if you do find it. So I said, well, I better get this now to keep up my Rannick collection going. And hopefully you guys also got the Rannick 5-pack from earlier this year. It has virtually disappeared from the shelves. Who knows? Maybe to be seen again? Maybe not. But I hope you did find this um, because this wouldn't be a hard one to find later on. And I'm sure it will be very pricey. Anyways, enough said on Rennick. Went to my local meet, which was surprisingly sparsely attended this month. And yeah, I guess a lot of people, it was kind of on a bad day, you know, and I get it. But it was the only day we could really get the restaurant to give us because they had a lot of private events going on now that uh, the pandemic restrictions have somewhat eased. So anyways, the few people that were there, I did find a couple of things. And let's start with the 1974 Dodge Monaco from the Demolition Derby set. Missed this when it came out, was glad to get it second time around. Pretty cool, what do you think? I don't normally love the flames on a car, but the flames are working on this one. Looks pretty awesome. Nice, nice, nice. As only Johnny Lightning can do. The 1974 Dodge Monaco Demolition Derby set. Awesome. And we also found the 1972 Monte Carlo stock car. Look at that, that's pretty cool. I think I have the orange one, but I wasn't sure if I had the purple one, but it was such a good deal at the meet, I could not resist. So here it is, pretty cool. And I think it has rubber tires, it does, so it will never see the track unless it gets a wheel swap, and uh, yeah, so until then, looks pretty cool, but I am hot to get one of these on the track at some point in the not so distant future. Let me know what you think. You guys collecting the Demolition Derby set or are you guys passing on it? Let me know in the comments. Nice. Now, I also had a very good day at Target. I actually walked into Target when they were just stocking a pea case fresh with uh, the Target Red Edition. And I found which is pretty cool, the Donut Drifter, and I am sad to say I do have a bit of a Donut Drifter collection going now, so I thought this would be a nice addition, and especially since it's a red edition, because I do collect all cars from the red edition from Target, and I will go over my entire red collection at some point soon, but for now, the Donut Drifter. Pretty cool. Nice. I'm really hot to get one of these on the track next to the Homer Simpson car to find out who is faster, the Donuts or Homer Simpson. We shall see. And also found the Toyota Land Cruiser Red Edition. How cool is that? That's looking pretty good in black, white top. Nice. Excellent card art. Yep. Looks pretty good. I cannot tell you guys how happy I am to see Toyota back in the lineup for Matchbox. I mean, pardon me, for Hot Wheels. Look at that rear detail. Awesome. And I'm telling you, I better work on the glare out here. We'll have a better spot, but for now, this is what we got to work with. So I apologize about any glare that you may see. Toyota Land Cruiser Red Edition. Awesome. And lastly, we found one of my favorite cars from this year, the 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko Red Edition, number 11 of 12. What do you think? Pretty cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Haven't gotten any one of these on the track yet, but we will soon when I get the track reset up. Red Edition 2020 Koenigsegg, or Koenigsegg? How do you pronounce that? I don't know, but we'll call it Koenigsegg for now. The 2020 Koenigsegg Jesko Red Edition, 11 of 12. Awesome. Nice, nice, nice. Ah, well, that is it for this week's haul. It was a pretty good haul video, and I tell you what, I'm going to let the camera roll for a little bit so you can get a little bit of the water and enjoy a nice view. If you had a hard day, nothing, nothing, 
is better after a hard day than sitting by the water or getting into the water. I don't know why, but it does soothe the mind. And I needed some mind soothing today. It was one of those days, which I seem to have a lot of these days. But nonetheless, enjoy a little bit of the water. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, help a fellow collector thrive. Guys, thanks for watching. Have a great day.